Hey, this is a video on the Ryzen HP, some number, I'll, it'll be a link below, and info on below. Okay, this is going to be about upgrading and pros and cons of this computer, okay. Here it is, okay. Upgradability is barely anything, okay. I'm not, I'm not even kidding, okay. Let's see, the power supply on this is only 400, okay. It's not even a universal size. So this is a HP custom OEM power supply, okay? So you can't really find a bigger one. You're gonna have to shop for like at eBay or some other size because this case is custom, okay? So you can't really change it for another case too because this power supply won't fit in any other <coughs> any other case other than an HP case, okay? This, yes, you could upgrade this, the graphics card, but you're limited to the power supply. If you can find a new power supply, they'll fit in this, go for it. Then you could upgrade this. The next time you could upgrade this, the graphics card, is when they release a next generation in a year or so, okay? Because it's only limited to 400 power supply, okay? That's the problem, which is limiting everything else. You could upgrade the CPU, but I don't know what it, what you can upgrade it to. We should be able to upgrade to any 3000 generation, not the up next generation, though. I don't really know. I don't know about this motherboard much, okay? You can upgrade your SSD, which I already do, the M.2 in there to uh, 512. I'll have a link to what I got below, okay? It is faster, but the motherboard is limited, so you can't upgrade it to too fast. I think it's max is like 3,000 megabytes per second or something. For the RAM, you can upgrade it. I already upgraded mine to 3,200 megahertz, and then you have to change it. The the you have to set up the RAM configurations in Ryzen Master, okay? And I have a video on that elsewhere okay and then for the hard drives or a hard drive I put in my own okay you can get and there can only be one people were asking about that yeah I only have one and then that's about it also regarding this power supply which is so OEM there's no 24 pin okay 20 it's a basic motherboard one and it's not in there like I could not find it it's not even in there so this power supply doesn't even have one, and the motherboard doesn't even have one. So that's what's so different about it. And you can't really upgrade, I think, a CPU fan unless you use a, a different power supply connector one. You have to find it. I don't even know it's where it is in there. I don't even think it's in there. I think that, yeah. Because the motherboard doesn't even have another power plug for the fan. That is the cons, okay? Pros and cons. Okay, let's see. The pro, this thing is inexpensive. If you get it, it'll run basically GTA, the old, any old games. Cyberpunk, I've been playing Cyberpunk on this, and it's only on low settings. And really, really low settings, and let's see, like... 1050 or 1080 resolution, okay? On low settings, and it... Runs a decent. You, you won't be able to play it on 4K or anything that well unless you lower the resolution. So yeah. Um, is there anything else? I don't really know. Is it worth getting for around 600? If you don't plan to upgrade that much, yeah. But there's other computers you could get, which you could upgrade later down the line, which are a lot better. Like, what was it, CyberPower, which they use all OEM, or not OEM, like, computer parts, which is nice. So, yeah, oh yeah, this part in the back, some people were asking me, yeah, you do have two HDMIs, okay, but this one doesn't work. This one does. All three of these work, this one doesn't. Because you, you need to change the CPU. Some CPUs have like 
graphics card installed in them. It's like uh, 3,500 U or something. Those will have graphics card in them. And then it'll turn this on. But it won't turn it on because this is the 3,500 basic one. So yeah. So if you have any other questions or anything, send me a message. Comment, like, subscribe. Thanks. See ya.